Hi to all the lovely people. You all are once again most welcome to your very own channel that is Tutorials Point. Well, off it, I have been reading a novel and trust me, I am just enjoying it um, a lot. And I thought of sharing some new words which I added to my vocabulary. I thought of sharing them with you, which is precisely why I made this video. And I mean, as you've just read the topic, right? These are the new words which I um, learned. So yes, that is right. So I added them to my vocabulary. So I thought of um, helping you all also with the same. So I thought of sharing them with you also. Let's go ahead and see what are these new words that I learned. You would also love to learn them. You would love to add them to your vocabulary so that you can use them in your daily language. Okay, well, the first word that um, recently I added to my vocabulary is parley. Now, what is parley? Well, to parley something means to um, convert something into really big than that than it actually is or to use something for your benefit to get a greater profit or benefit out of it so that is uh, what is meant by parlay so uh, to transform into something of a greater value so if you are able to parlay something so i was able to parlay um you know the the profit that i earned i was able to parlay into a i was able to parlay that into a sizable um financial empire so that is uh, when which actually what it means is that whatever profit that i earned out of that small business i was able to convert that into a bigger into an even bigger fortune right so when you're able to milk a situation to your benefit or when you're able to use a particular thing um you know to your benefit and convert it into something which is really big that is when you parlay it right so um, you would have seen some people who probably start off as a very very small um, you know at a very very small level of business and then they're able to parlay the entire situation and uh, it just sizes up to probably a very very big outlet or something which is a huge business empire that is what is meant by parlay so well if you happen to meet anybody of this sort who's able to parlay his or her situation and make it great well then you can use this word next one is stilt well what is meant by stilt so whenever someone is walking very very slowly very very carefully um you know using <clears throat> without causing any noise that is what is meant by stealthily right so when you don't want anybody to notice you and you quietly sneak inside that is when your movement is stealth so here is an example she moved across the field with the stilt of a cat on the prowl so which actually means is she moved so so slowly so carefully um, tossing her foot at the right time with the right amount of force so that nobody could hear her so uh, usually if you want to sneak inside without anybody noticing that is when you move stealthily so um, yeah if you happen to see anybody if any one of you clique in the office gets late and he or she is just trying to sneak inside the door without letting you know that she's in. Well, that is when he or she is uh, moving stealthily. So yeah, you can use this word. Eerie. Now, what is eerie? Eerie is um, yet another word which recently I have added to my vocabulary and eerie means, means actually something which is very strange in a frightening way. So there was an eerie silence in the house when I entered. So something uh, which actually means that there was a strange and a frightening silence. So um, that is what is meant by eerie. And yeah, there are chances, there are some situations and times wherein we uh, happen to hear such or we happen to encounter or face such eerie silence. Um, then that is what uh, is the right word in this situation so or else that entire building had an eerie environment which means it was strange and frightening so yeah that is what is meant by eerie so yeah another word which you could add to your vocabulary you could use it day in day out and that is how you will level your english up 
prance. Now, what is prance? Prance means to just walk around merrily with excessive body movements more than what is required. So, usually you see kids, right? They happen to prance in the room because sometimes or or even a grown-up or an adult probably sometimes when they are very very happy and they just happen to dance around in the room or even if they are moving they are using excessive body movements more than what is needed that is when um, that person is said to prance around so let's look at an example she pranced into the office and demanded to speak to the manager so when you are using more than the required body movements to walk, that is when you prance around. And yeah, you could do it out of joy, you could also do it out of anger. So it's up to you how you want to prance around. Well, the last word which I wanted to share you or share with you all, which I recently have added to my vocabulary, is twinge. Now, what is twinge? Well, a sudden sharp localized pain sometimes you just happen to experience it right so uh, that is what is meant by twinge so he felt the twinge in his knee so there are times when we uh, sometimes happen to face that there's a sudden sharp pain right it could happen any uh, in any part of our body that is what is meant by twinge and if this happens well definitely not a very very good experience to have so if this happens uh, that is when you are known to face or to suffer a twinge so yeah if you if this is what happens to you or to any of your uh, known persons well then you can use this word well i'm sure these words would have added at least something to your vocabulary your existing vocabulary they definitely did add something to mine so i thought of sharing with you all i'm sure it would have helped you and um, i mean because these are new words in your vocabulary. Try to use them in your language so that every time you happen to see any of any any video, uh, you happen to use any new word. You once you start using it in your language, is when you will actually be able to sort of get it from just the the dictionary into your real time language. So. Well, I will see you guys again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. Have a great day.